throttle, lights out and we are going, San Marino is a superb launch from that 10 for the GP pole from Jorge Martin, he leads the way just as he did the sprint yesterday, Marco Bersegui's got away well too, thank you, he got a good start, Pedrosa has a moment there on the rear as he squeezed the power on towards turn two, he was briefly in third place, but Pedrosa back in P4 when he started. Yeah, Pedrosa had a fantastic start, I thought he was going to hide side there during turn two, but he is back into fourth place where he finished the sprint yesterday, that looks like Brad Binder siding through on the inside of Maverick Vinales, Binder has fallen short where he did yesterday, by getting a full start, he's away well this time, straight up into fifth. Martin leads, Magnaia then in second place, we ride on board with the world champion, through Tremonto for the first time, they're second in third place, and now looking forward from Magnaia to Cassie towards your race leader, Martin then attacking into the zone, of course, here comes Magnaia, that was going to be a real daring move, you don't see many moves stick coming through that final corner, he just showed Martin his front wheel there, did he though, Martin is there, the leads at the end of the first lap. And now second, but second, third, but drives to fourth, Bean is on a good first, now on to fifth. Oh, it looks like he's having a little bit of fun into turn two, but Nyaya very keen to get on with this early on, isn't he? He is all over the back of Jorge Martin, like a rat, he now runs in into turn four, but Nyaya, we know, is so, so good on the brakes, and he thought carries a tighter line there than Martin, who goes slightly wide into four and five. Martin really backing up the world champion early on. A long way back though is Marco Betsecki into Quercia Corner. Betsecki goes through. Well, he put that mistake at turn 10 behind on the previous lap. Very, very quickly did Marco Betsecki. He then is the second place. Beautiful move that from Betsecki on his line against again for the second lap in a row. Into Tremonto, so all that hard work that he did, he thought was a brilliant move on the brakes into Quercia. He's now going to make that move all over again. Fastest ride on circuit now, he's the rider in fourth. Brad Binder sets his personal best for 132.050. The fact thing between Bagnaia and Betsecki will not only play to the hands of Martin, but also for his fans of Binder, who will just close in on that leading trio. There he is on the 33 now coming through your picture. Fastest rider on circuit, just a second off the lead now. Brad Binder has crashed out of fourth place. Brad Miller's going to track him this morning. So we'll try and find out then what happened to the South African. Brad Binder, we just saw him on the previous lap. Martin Bagnaia and Betsecki picked up their speed, got into 131. It was just too hot for Binder to handle. Turn 14, there it is, into turn 14. Brad Binder crashing out of the race. So any hopes of a KTM podium now once again rest on the shoulders of Danny Pedrosa, who is matching the race leaders for pace. But he's two seconds on the back of the leading trio. Yellow flags, yeah, yeah, it's it's the worst, man, because it was Jack Miller and McKinney Pirro who were plummeting down the order. They were running together in 14, 15 and 16, and there you can see both bikes there on the outside of turn four. That was where Jack Miller crashed out here last year, and he's gone down with McKinney Pirro. So both of the factory, KTM's down on consecutive laps. A bit of a disastrous day for KTM to say the least. I'm holding there on an out, is the wild card. The old war horse himself, Danny Pedrosa, in fourth place. He was always a genius, wasn't he? Rear tyre management, helped by his lightweight, his silky smooth riding style, not over stretching the tyre. Again, Pedrosa keeps himself in those 131s. The gap between Pedrosa and Fett second down to 1.3 seconds. This guy is pure class. We're talking about Danny Pedrosa, a rider who's had over 150 Grand Prix podiums. You won't know about his stature in this sport. Piero Villa's incident's going to be reviewed after the race. Only Mark Marquez, Jorge Lorenzo, Mike Hayerwood, Angel Nieto, Martino Rossi, and Giacomo Agostini have won more races than Danny Pedrosa in the 74 year history of Grand Prix motorcycle racing. But Pedrosa now starting to pose a big, big threat here in Misano. There he is, back in the picture in fourth place. Pedrosa is closing at a vast rate of knots. He's had six Motor GP podiums here at Mazzano. He was the race winner in 2010, the race winner in 2016. He was our eighth different winner in eight successive races in 2016. That incredible run seven years ago. But Danny Pedrosa, talk about old but gold, rolling back the years, blast from the past. Pedrosa again is another personal best lap for number 26. A 131, 876. He's just six tenths now behind Marco Betsecki. Striking distance to the front of this Grand Prix. 1.1 seconds behind Jorge Martin. This is astonishing. The fairy tale is on. Let's take a look at the final ranking of the MotoGP race before the traditional podium ceremony. We're back from Park Ferme with the first three finishers. 
This boy got a great second place today with a truly outstanding performance. We're live for the podium ceremony where there's an Italian flag flying on the top step. A stunning win in great Italian style. Bagnaia beat his opponents with a masterful victory today.